Hello and welcome back to another Cotswold Bees video. Now when we're out doing food and farming festivals we're often asked what's the difference between liquid or runny honey and set honey. So I thought we'd do a bit of a video about it and see what the difference is. Before we discuss that though we already ought to talk about what is honey. Now honey is a substance that's made by the bees. They go out and they collect nectar and they bring it back to the hive. And nectar is about 80% water content. So they then have to dehydrate that nectar bringing the water content down to about 18% and that's actually honey. And honey consists of about 80% give or take sugars, about 18% water and about 2% other minerals. And the speed with which honey will crystallize depends very much on the split between the two main sugars, that's fructose and glucose. And the more the fructose, the slower the honey will actually crystallize. So, crystallization isn't a process of honey's going off, it's just a natural thing that happens with honey over a period of time. And in fact, it's a sign that you've got a natural good honey. The more you do to honey, the more you take away. And one of the ways in which people stop honey crystallizing is actually to heat it. And heat, generally speaking, isn't good for honey. So let's have a look at some different types of honey and the difference between runny honey, crystallized honey and set honey. Out here in the honey room, I've got three different types of honey. I've got a set honey, I've got a liquid honey, and I've got one that's halfway in between that started to crystallize. What we can do now is have a look at these and actually see the difference between them. The best way for me to do that to start with is to have a look through a light. So let's take these three and bring them over to the light over here and have a careful look at them. So here's the first one and you can see it's clear. And that's a runny honey. Quite a lot of borage in there and some other honeys as well, but it's really clear. And it's unfiltered. Here's exactly the same honey, but I've actually left it for a few weeks. And what you can see there is it started to crystallize. And in fact, if we look at this, which is one of our wedding favors, you can see even clearer the crystallization. This honey is great, it's lovely and clear, and it's the sort of thing you'd put on your toast, in your porridge, on ice cream, that sort of thing. And many people love a really nice clear honey. The honey that started to crystallize, nothing wrong with it at all, but that's gonna be quite crunchy. Now some people like a crunchy honey, but most people don't. They find it too gritty. So what we can do then is we can take the honey and we can actually produce what's known as a creamed or soft set honey. In order to show you how we do that, you need to come over here. Here we are next to our honey creamer. And this is like a giant mixer. We start with a honey that crystallizes very easily, like for example, rape honey, field bean, and we use that as a starter. And then we blend that with other honeys to give it a really good flavor. And what we end up with, having blended it for 48 hours, is a honey that's like butter. And the blending process is for 15 minutes in every hour, the blender works, and then it sits and lets the crystals reform. And then for another 15 minutes, it blends and leaves it again for 45 minutes. And it does that for 48 hours. And what we end up with is this beautiful creamed honey. And what we'll do is we'll have a look at the two different types of honey, the clear and the creamed, and see the difference on the spoon. I've moved over to the other side of the honey room now to where our warming cabinet is. And that's for a number of reasons. If we get a honey that's starting to crystallize and we don't want those crystals, we can just warm it and it'll go back to liquid. Now, in your kitchen, you can do that by taking the top off, putting it in the microwave, doing it on the lowest power and very gently stirring it. It's really important that you don't take the temperature of that honey over about 35, 37 degrees C. Otherwise, it will start to spoil. And that's why we've got this cabinet, which is thermostatically controlled, which enables us to do that. However, we can also make, as I said before, this lovely creamed honey. And let's have a look at the difference between a liquid honey and a creamed honey on the spoon. So if you come over here a bit closer, we can actually look in the jars. First of all, I'm going to open up my clear honey. And you can see here, this is a beautiful clear honey and it just runs absolutely wonderful, brilliant on ice cream in porridge. If you put that on your toast, it does tend to run off your toast, but it is a lovely flavor. And that's a clear honey. And then we can look at our creamed or soft set honey, and that's completely different. Here you can see it's a very soft, buttery consistency, 
And this one's only recently been actually jarred and it will go a little bit more set than this, but you can see you can easily put that on your toast and it's a completely different texture. A really nice texture for spreading. So you choose. Do you want the runny honey or do you want this creamed honey? It's entirely up to you. In fact, most of our customers buy both for different purposes. Now, if you're a beekeeper and you want to make creamed honey, very few of you are going to go to the expense of a commercial honey creamer, but you can buy a device, looks like a giant potato masher, and with a lot of elbow grease, you can make your own creamed honey as well. Whichever you prefer, the runny, the crystallized, or the soft set, you can talk to your local beekeeper, and I'm sure they'll be able to supply great honey for you. The really important thing is that you buy good quality honey. Don't buy filtered honey, you've taken out some of the goodness with that. The more you do to honey, the more you take away. So just remember that when you're buying honey. If you can have a chat with the beekeeper or the bee farmer, all the better. Remember that all honeys are different, different flavors, different textures. And most of all, remember that if it's crystallizing, it's not going off, it's just a natural process with a really good honey. And so if you don't like that, just warm it in the way I've suggested. So there you have it, the difference between set and runny honey. So buy the honey that you like best. They're all different, all different flavors and all different textures. Just make sure that you buy quality honey. When you get it home, never put honey in the fridge. Keep it in the cupboard at normal room temperature. And if it starts to crystallize, well, just warm it gently and send it back to liquid. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and you now know what to look for in a honey. So until the next video, thanks for watching and I'm gonna get back to making some more creamed honey.